The Great Home Run Chase of 1998 featured sluggers Mark McGuire of the St. Louis Cardinals and Sammy Sosa of the Chicago Cubs. All summer long, they matched each other homer for homer, all the while pursuing legendary figures like Babe Ruth and Roger Maris. By early September, it was obvious McGuire and Sosa would both surpass Maris and the Babe. But who would get there first, and who would become the new home run king? Jack Buck made some historic calls on KMOX late in that 98 season. On September 5th, Mark McGuire needed one homer to reach 60. Sitting on 59 home run. Here's the pitch. Swing and... There it goes. This is it. It is a home run. Wake up, Babe Ruth. There's company coming. It's Mark McGuire with number 60, and they're going berserk here at Bush Stadium. September 5th, 1998. Number 60 for McGuire. He couldn't have hit it higher. Home run number 60. Equaling Babe Ruth. A historic moment here at Bush Stadium. And we might have more history before the day is over. Two days later on September 7th, against the Cubs' Mike Morgan, McGuire would catch Roger Maris. Here it comes to McGuire. Swing! Look at there! Look at there! Look at there! McGuire's number 61. McGuire's flight 61 headed for Planet Maris. Home run McGuire. 61. History. Bedlam. What a moment. Shaking hands with the third baseman of the Cubs. Pardon me while I stand up and applaud. The next night, McGuire set the new record with number 62. With fans going crazy at Bush Stadium watching McGuire and Sosa embrace each other near the first baseline, Jack made this observation. Has baseball ever been like no, this? Jack, no. It's because of those two guys right there. Baseball has never been like no this 